When you are solving systems of equations with substitution, you need to choose one of the equations and either get x to be by itself or y to be by itself. Now, a lot of times, they already are, uh, so you don't have to do much work, but we'll have some where we actually have to do some steps there. So if you look at number one, we already have y equals. That's great. This is what y equals. So in the other equation, anytime I see a y, I can substitute in 7x plus 15. Now here's the only y. So I'm just going to replace that. I'm going to substitute in 7x plus 15 for that y equals negative 4x plus 7, or sorry, minus 7. Your whole goal is you want it to be either all x's or all y's. We're going from two variables down to one. So if we were to continue solving this, we could add 4x to both sides. 7x plus 4x is 11x plus 15 equals negative 7. We'll get rid of the plus 15 by subtracting 15. Which gives us 11x equals negative 22. Now we just have to divide by 11, which gives us x equals negative 2. But we are not just solving for x, we're looking for a full coordinate. So that's half of our answer, negative 2. But we need the y step. So you can substitute that x value into either equation to figure that out. I always say just go with whichever one looks easier. To me, probably the first one looks easier. y equals 7x, we know x is negative 2. Uh, plus 15. 7 times negative 2 is negative 14, plus 15 is 1. So that would be our y coordinate. So if you were to graph these, they would intersect at negative 2, 1. Now these are great, especially if you have like decimal answers, because you wouldn't be able to tell that if you were to graph it. Right? So this is a more exact thing. All right, we have y equals. Fantastic. Now, when we're substituting it in for y in the other equation, it's usually a good idea to put it in parentheses. So we have negative 4x minus this stuff. Negative 4x plus 30 equals negative 30. If we were to distribute that negative, or think of it like negative 1, uh, that would give us positive 4x and negative 30. So we'll bring down the other stuff. Negative 4x plus 4x minus 30 equals negative 30. So combining my like terms, negative 4x plus 4x, those cancel each other out. We are left with negative 30 equals negative 30. This is another one of those bizarre problems. Now, is that true? Does negative 30 equal negative 30? Yes. And if that's the case, that's when we go with the infinitely many solutions. Meaning if we were to graph these lines, they would be the exact same line. Um, if you ended up with all the variables going away and you had like 4 equals negative 30 and that would be no solution. So let's try one more. Oh, actually I'll save this, I'll start a new video on this one, number 13.